wanted to update you guys on how I've been doing in school and you know the progress that I'm at now after the last video that you saw that I made which is the general airframe or the one I did about two months ago saying I was back with COVID and everything well COVID is still in effect with classes you know eventually as you see I don't have my mask on because I'm around nobody it is lunchtime right now so but yeah, COVID is still in effect. And actually, we're not doing two days to two days on, two days off anymore with Zoom classes. We're actually in class four days a week. You know, the six hours a day, 7.30 to 2. And, you know, with that, it's, it's been all right. You know, it haven't been any really challenges. But the big, big challenge was when COVID was, you know, when it first started, was the um, having to do Zoom classes and not able to do hands-on in school. So that was, that really took a big effect on everybody at school, especially the students. But you know, that definitely got better in time as COVID progresses and it's dying down. So some of the challenges that I see that I'm facing in school is having, it's just studying in every different aspect, uh, whether it's from general, airframe or power plant. And one of the biggest challenges for me was being in an airframe or power, being a, well, being a power plant class right now, propellers and inspection, but actually only focusing really on passing your exams, like your big tests, like the general exam, the airframe exam. So for me, I just have to, I have, I finished my general, as you guys saw, and I am on my airframe. And my airframe, I was so dedicated to passing that big airframe test that I wasn't really focused on my current class, propellers and inspection. So that kind of took a toll on me, you know, shuffling back and forth or studying. You have to study longer hours, actually, because you have to study for the class you're in, and then you have to take time to study for your, um, your airframe test. So that was the biggest thing for me, but you know, you know, you, you do get it done with a lot of dedication. I had one more block until I was done my, um, all my airframe classes, which was block 11. I don't know if I mentioned that in my previous class that I wasn't eligible for my airframe exam until I passed my airframe test. No, until I passed the block, last block of the airframe, which is block 11. And I forgot which block it was, but I think um, aircraft instruments, yeah. Aircraft instruments and fuel systems was the last block I had to finish up. So, you know, I put all of my time into just studying that class and not focusing on, you know, prep wear for airframe or anything else. I just put my, my focus on that class so I could be able to pass it and be eligible. Within that time frame, I did, you know, stop studying prep wear. It's just so when I got to the point where I passed that last block for airframe, I can, um, just go ahead and take the test. So basically, I didn't really do as good on the airframe at first, because like I said, I didn't take, I, I had about a good month to where I stopped studying prep wear. And then just to pass the, the last block of airframe, be eligible and so eager to get eligible for the airframe that I, I went, you know, briefly studied, and then I went to go take the test, which I only got a 67 on. So, you know, that kind of hit me hard getting a 67 on the test because I was so close from an actual 70. And, you know, so I actually went ahead. I went ahead and, you know, said I was so frustrated from getting a 67. So I went ahead and stayed after school every day for two weeks from two o'clock to five o'clock every day, you know, determined to pass that test, you know, staying on prep wear. You know, for me, prep wear wasn't a consistent it was every day, but it wasn't consistent time of day that I was doing it. You know, prep wear for me was, um, you know, if I get bored on my phone, it's, you know, it ain't nothing to do. Instead of going on social media, I can actually just, you know, do a little bit of 30 minutes to an hour, you know, to um, do some sections on prep wear. And that kind of helped me out, you know. And then already knowing stuff that I already knew from when I was actually putting it all the time studying before I got to block 11 and slowed that down. I took the time out, took two weeks to go. Like I said, stay after school. And I went back, you know, scheduled the test, got signed off. I didn't have to wait a month because I took the time out to get with an instructor after school and get signed off so I could take it earlier than a month, which is basically two weeks after the fact that I failed. So I got that sign off and eventually, I uh, I went back today and I passed the test, you know,
So basically, after, you know, studying prep wear, prep wear, prep wear, it's like a big weight off your shoulder that you don't have to study general prep wear or airframe prep wear, and you just have to study orals and for your orals and practicals. That's the best feeling ever. And I encourage everybody to work and study until you get to that point because not having to study certain things and knowing that you got it out the way and you're done with that chapter in school is the best feeling ever. So I, I encourage everybody to, you know, work, work, study, study until you have to get, until you get to that point. Um, so right there at the end of the day, that's the best feeling to know that you're one step closer to achieving your goals and knocking down goals. So I encourage everybody, you know, to keep putting in that hard work. It might be difficult. It might seem like you're studying a lot, but it definitely pays off at the end, knowing that <clears throat> that chapter is closed. It definitely does. And, you know, make sure, you know, you guys continue your studies, you know, go to school every day. You know, you might have been in there for a while, like me. You know, I've been there for two years. And it's, I feel as though it's about that time where, you know, things is, it's, it's time, it's down to crunch time, the clutch time, and you gotta, you know, you know, just put that work in even more now to, you know, finish it all up and bring it all together. So I look forward to making another video for you guys. You know, right now, the journey I am on is, you know, I'm going to get back focused on my class <laughs> and I'm going to study for this final exam we got next week. So I got to put a lot of time in for that. Being that, you know, for this whole month, I really didn't study much. Even, I, I mean, I knew my stuff. I knew my stuff from listening. I did take part. But, you know... We have to um, continue to do your studies in your current class and be able to, you know, study your prep where, you know, that's the dedication you got to have. And I look forward to everybody that's under the comments, you know, seeing them get to that point. You know, I want to let I want you guys to let me know. I'm going to put my email at the bottom or my social media. I want to keep in touch with you guys to you know know your progress as well you know it's not all about me and my progress i want to see you guys progress as well you know that's what it's all about you know that's what this channel is about everybody progressing everybody that wants to know how school is with aircraft mechanics anybody that have any questions about it you know that's what this channel is for so with that being said right now you know as i, I got my journal out the way got my airframe test out the way those two chapters are closed and that's a big relief for me so right now the chapter that is open right now for me is finishing the school i got two months two more classes left with a capstone class but you know with the way the school set it up you know it's you might not have to do a capstone because you know if you're progressing and passing all your big tests there's no need for that so right now i am going to actually go up here right up here and and I'm going to take them two pieces of paper saying that I passed my test and I'm going to schedule this oral and practical. So right now the plan for that is Jefferson book, Jefferson book, Jefferson book. I know I said ASA. That definitely helped me out because that's the only books I've only owned was ASA. And, you know, it helped me out. And I'm not saying it made me fail, you know, but it definitely helped me out with knowing what I had to do what I did to get myself ready was I didn't really do so much studying because I didn't want that to affect what I actually knew and just keep well you guys know how it goes when you just study too much and you just get brain farts and forget you know you don't want to study too much so what I did was study prep wear here and there you know I took some time out for the weekend for Memorial Day to uh you know unwind with the kids you know and everything and that made me that 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 definitely played a good part in you know helping my confidence and just not worrying and get it off my mind so i'm here today i finished the test at i started the test at 9 30. i want to say i finished about 11 o'clock i finished about 11 o'clock and basically you know it went pretty well this time around you know the first time it was prep wear of course every time is prep wear but really it's about you know what you get in prep wear and you know of course on a test they mix things up or you know it's just it's just totally something that wasn't on prep wear that you got to be prepared for that you got to kind of think through the question and you know so the first time I was getting a little agitated frustrated but the second time you know I kept a level head and then I came out with a, um, a 67 
no uh, uh the first time was a 67 i came out with a 79 this time which was a little it's, it's better you know at the end of the day it's a pass you know I, it definitely takes a load off my shoulder not having to worry about prep wear prep wear prep wear prep wear and because after, after a while you know after doing it so much and feeling like you study or you can study so i just wanted to make this video for you guys you know give you guys a heads up and an update on how school was going and you know till next time be catching me on the next video for the o's and p's because i'm gonna order three new books with jefferson and i'm gonna um give you guys an insight on how i'm handling those with my o's and p's coming up so till then see you guys <laughs>